Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Viking Conquest here in Frisia. We just finished the end of our trade run. Um, we probably need to head back to the British Isles. Uh, we just need to make sure that we're not missing any trade. Well, we've got all this tar here which we could sell and the salt. We've, we have however bought all the wine already. But we will sell some of this tar here just to make a nice profit. And then we will head on our way. Hello Whiskers, how are you today? Right, we can probably sell all the tar here, that's fine. And we will sell the salt back on the mainland, I think. We will sell from port. We're kind of running with a slightly smaller group of soldiers this time, just so we can save on costs and let our morale not go as... not tank as much. There we go, 5,000 profit, not bad at all. <laughs> and we need somewhere to spend all this money. Um, in terms of maybe setting up another business or, or similar, or investing in more gear or more troops, we'll have to find a way. Let's head up to kind of the Yorvik area. We can probably sell this salt for a decent profit around here as well, I would imagine. I see we see a small group. We've still got about 88 soldiers, so we're not. It's not small by any means. Just checking here at war with, we're at war with the Kingdom of East Engel. East Anglia down here in the dark blue, who are doing very well for themselves actually. They pushed up here into Northumbria's territory, they pushed into Wessex territory. Hello cucumbers, good to see you. Ah yes, my comfort stream, playing the shirtless man game. <laughs> Unsurprising. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, it is indeed the AMs for me, but I've just woken up, so actually it's I'm, I'm pretty much I'm pretty okay. Go take your money. Oh, I just, <laughs> I just uh, <laughs> took a toll from the wrong kingdom there. That's awkward. We'll have to get them back on side. I missed the past few streams. You have indeed. I wonder where you've been. Uh, not that's a problem. Um, but I was, I'm very glad to have you back. Hey, now whiskers. <laughs> Yeah, I um, accidentally went after the wrong caravan here because they're the same colour as East Angle, and I, would, I wasn't properly looking at the. Um, <laughs> I wasn't properly looking at the. The kingdom titles, or. Oh, that's a lot of money. I just so special this stream minute my absence. It means a lot. It means a lot to me that you show up, and so when you're not here, there is, there is a bit of a void. Certainly, when I can um, give out VIP titles, you will be one of them. Uh, right. Let's get infantry here, spearmen here, archers and skirmishers at the back as normal. I mean, even Whiskers has missed some streams. <laughs> he was still a couple of days ago. Are they going to come and attack at us? Probably not. Okay, let's go. Everyone follow me. Let's go deal with them instead. Because they're not going to charge us, we all have to charge them. We'll set up here. Uh, infantry and spearmen here. Archers on the hill. Cavalry can hold just over here. Alright, so I still need to change Clovis over so he's a cavalryman because otherwise he sits with the infantry unit. It doesn't work particularly well. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm pretty much just killing these guys so we get a little bit of money. Um, we can get some morale boosts for our troops, etc. There's no real reason why we're going after them. But I want them to come in for me as opposed to me charging them. So I'm going to try to kill this. Kill one of these priests. 
There we go, that should hopefully do the job. Yeah, they're judging it now, let's get out of it. Run, run. Oh, you've got a spear. Run away. Leave me alone. Ow. Okay. Now we should be better. Now they're actually charging in. Where are the other people? Um, we've had other people drop by for... I was streaming Civ 6 the other day. Someone dropped by. For, uh, Ken dropped by for that. Uh, actually, Dank Slavic has been around um, as well. Yeah, we're only five minutes in. There's still a long way to go yet. Because <laughs> I, I tend to stream for about two hours. Uh, although it is very slightly, but in principle I tend to stream for about two hours, so... More people could yet join in, as it were. Let's go! Someone's weapon just broke, I saw that. <laughs> and then we'll turn around. You can actually see the game on the screen, can't you? It's not like the other time where I was just streaming to to nothing. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure our horse is safe. Yes, can see the game. Good. <laughs> I was very awkward when that happened. <laughs> and I was just streaming a black screen. <laughs> The weird thing, I had the game open, it just didn't, my streaming service didn't really, like, connect the two, and so I was just sitting there talking to myself. There we go. Dealt with you, wonderful. We had five and a half morale, excellent, and a good amount of prisoners, actually, that we can sell for profit. Sure, the looters is common, we will... Take whatever we can to sell. How are the cats? Um, they are okay, thank you. I haven't, like I said, I, they live with my parents, so I, I haven't actually been able to see them since Christmas time now. Um, but I, I should be going down there for Easter. Oh, that's the wrong button. I should be going down there for Easter. I should be able to get some more photos then. Uh, one of my cats is a bit overweight, so he's he's gone on a bit of a diet, but don't tell him that. Okay, let's sell all this. And we will enter the tournament here in hope of um, joining the tournament. I love cats too. Cats are one of my favourite animals. Where my um, parents live, they have a river running through their garden, and if if you're very lucky, it's only I think happened twice since they moved in there. Uh, you can see otters in the river, and I I've never seen them. Um, I think only my mother's seen them, but um, and it's it's very much a rare sight. But if you can see them, it, apparently it's incredible. Uh, we need to make friends with the Kingdom of Almond again because we've kind of messed up. <laughs> I hope we can still go inside their lands, we'll have to see. One way to find out. Oh my goodness, look at the Kingdom of Ulaid, my word. Taking over a lot of territory here from the Kingdom of Alban. Very impressive. Well done, Mr. Ireland. Well done indeed, sir. What? <laughs> only over here you only see otters and gay bars. I don't know if I'm misunderstanding that, but I'm going to pretend I am. Am I allowed inside in a row? Have I messed up? Yeah, I've messed up. I need to help out the Kingdom of Alban to make them like me again. Because <laughs> so I accidentally um, went after one of their. I accidentally went after one of their traders. <laughs> Uh, 
Although... I probably am too innocent, yes. Um, that's 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 for sure. <laughs> hmm. I want to make amends with this faction, but I can't. <laughs> if I can find some trade to to follow, that'd be good. I went after the wrong. That's interesting. The Ether Wolfing has been um, sent for treason. So now he's part of the, another faction. That's very interesting. You, I think you're heading over to a different faction. Very interesting. 44 Northmen. Uh, do you want to go to the Vikings? We can go after the Vikings. That's that's fine. Your luck has run out. Prepare to die. Because I know the terminology of bear when it comes to like, other thing whiskers, but otter is otter is a otter is a new term for me. But uh, <laughs> probably not one to discuss on stream. <laughs> okay, infantry and spearmen hold the bridge. Oh dear. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Do, 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 do. Why am I seeing Mary Poppins? I don't know. Mary Poppins? Mary Poppins, y'all. Ah, Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's maybe not let the Berserker hit us with a javelin. Because Berser the Berserker's hurt, would you believe? Okay, infantry go, spearmen go. Let's do what we can here. I want to deal with that Berserker, or at least attempt to deal with that Berserker. Everyone charged. We might even need to get our Norse archers involved, to be honest. Let's actually get off our horse and... There's a few of them. There's a few shirtless men, but normally the shirtless men are like low-level troops. Because they don't have armour. Or they're archers. <laughs> Ow. Hitting me with a spear, please. Good sir. Oh, we've fallen. Hold on me. This could be uh, a close run fight, actually. I think we'll be okay. Because we, ha we have all our archers as well. We should win this fight. Probably taking more losses than I ideally would have liked, but, you know, what can we do? We need to recruit more troops anyway. To go in our um to go in our what should we call it? Our refuge. So our trainer can train them up for us. Here we're now named Royal, we lost eight troops, that's not bad. There we go, take that, show the looters is common and some of these bits of gear are pretty good actually. So we we'll have a look and see if our companions could do with any of them. I'm sure someone like Brunhild might use them. Actually, all these gloves we can give to them. 
Uh, Clovis, we can change to uh, a cavalryman. Bodo is pretty decked out, I think, but we'll just have a check. 3115. But we can give him some better gear. There we go. Well, it doesn't look quite as cool, I must, I must admit. And he has leather gloves. We can give him some better boots as well. Okay, we'll do the skills for them another time, but we'll get as the equipment as best we can for them. Uh, there we go. Bodo can have a cool looking armour. He needs some gloves, which we do have. He could probably do some better shoes as well. The, like the more armour we give to them, the better, really. Okay. Um, we're basically just playing dress up with our soldiers now, to be honest. 30 and 11, so I can go to this one here. You already have gloves, that's fine. I guess they're not, so you could have to do with some more equipment, couldn't you? Oh yeah, you've got some really terrible armour. I'm surprised we haven't upgraded you before, but um, there we go. You do have gloves on. Beta. You are pretty much okay, that's fine. You can do some nicer gloves. So yes, that is leather gloves. It does give you a little bit of armor, not much, but some. And then the Brunhild, who definitely is needs some better armor because she's vast and protected. There we go. And this gives you a nicer looking helmet than that one. You need some gloves. Uh, there we go. And we can also give you some we'll give you some bent throwing space as well. And do we have any better shoes for you? We do. There you go. You're a little bit more protected now, Brunhild. There we go. Medieval dress up is done for the time being. <laughs> I'm just gonna head back to actually no, let's go yeah, we'll head back to our ships. For the most part, we do just need to be careful of the Kingdom of Album because we have accidentally annoyed them purely unintentionally, but we do have to just be a little bit careful. Uh, Set to Edoras, just want to see how that's going because we do have 101 troops in here. I don't think we need more slave hunters, so what we'll do, we'll take the Norse Freeholders here and then we'll put them at the bottom so they get a bit of training um, from our from our trainer here. And let's go, go to our ships. So we're going to do a little bit of a recruiting spree and chuck them into our local recruitment centre, aka Edoras. And we failed to visit the lady. We've got bigger things, bigger fish to fry, I'm afraid. Um, Astrid will come to you when we can. Uh, we'll sell the rest of the Viking gear here. It's quite hard to say, actually, if you say it quickly. Sell the rest of the Viking gear here. Did I sell some fish? I, just, I definitely sold some fish, didn't I? There we go. And then we'll head down to our ships and travel from port. Because I don't think we can, we well, no, we can't generally recruit from these areas. Um, we'll go see Astrid when time permits, but it's not a, a major priority for us. And we're going to go get some troops. We need to make sure we don't let our ships get too badly damaged. However, I'll need to check that next time we actually enter a a major port. Northumbria, we've okay. We are at war with North. No, we're at war with Glissing, and oh, because we're complying with the new alliance. I see. So we're at war with this small resurgent faction down here. Honestly, I don't think we need to worry about that. Arguably, we, we have much more issues with East Engle here than we do with that faction. It's not really. I don't think there's really a need for it. Uh, oh, hello. 51 Vikings. You have 
Okay, most of you are just sailors, however, so I'm not going to really focus on you. They're making good money per week, but that's because we don't actually have any people in our army. <laughs> Let's head round. And we'll land here by Dumbeti. Get as many troops as we can. We'll visit our lady friend while we're here. Although as soon as we leave, she'll send a message like, Oh, what oh, thrill. Can you come back and visit me again? Whoa. Oh, Gustav, how happy that would make me to be wed. But my father, Jarl Olaf Gudrunson, would never allow it. Perhaps it is best that we part. Perhaps I may still be able to change your father's mind. I can elope, but then, oh, would you believe, Olaf doesn't like me very much. So maybe we shouldn't do that. So next time we see him, we will actually attempt to kind of say, Hey, can I um, marry your daughter, please? Three Norse Freedmen. And does the leader have any quest I can do instantaneously? Yes, that's the one I was looking for, the slave quest. Because that's a very quick quest to do. I can find where the slave is. There he is. Go retrieve the slave and bring him back. And thankfully, he's not on a hill. We can see him. Well, this is a good hideout, actually. You wouldn't see him unless you were coming from this angle over here. Hello, good sir. I'm here to take you back to your village. I'm sorry. I know it's probably a rather unpleasant end of life for you, but needs must. I want troops. <laughs> Head back to Balbati, go to the village centre. I think this village is the same as what looks incredibly similar to my village. Um, I wonder if they just, they might have used the same model. Uh, local leader, there we go. And only one Norse Freedman. Not ideal, but it's at least a little bit more. Then we'll head over to the Orkney Islands. Wow, those... Is that really how much they cost? Oh my goodness, they do. They cost a lot of money to upgrade, my word. Still. At least, at least they're being upgraded. That's for sure. Let's land here in the Orkneys. Um, 11 Norse Freeholders, wonderful. And we'll head to the relevant village as well. Seven Norse Freedmen, do you have any quests for me, good sir? No, you don't. <laughs> okay, and we'll head over to our village as well. I don't. I'm hoping it hasn't been raided. I don't think it has been. Be army be. Okay, heading to Bjarno, Bjarnori itself. That's incredibly hard. It's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> uh, definitely a tongue twister. If you, 19 Norse Freedmen, that's more like it. Wonderful. Do you have any tasks I can help you with? You don't. That's fine. That's another few, like 30 or 40 troops. It's not bad. We do need to think about where we're going to start our own faction, and it's not all that clear where we might do so. Um, we could try in Ireland, but actually the the factions that survived in Ireland are quite powerful. We are not well. We are well known, but not in a good way in Ireland. People do not like us in Ireland. We could try take out Grissing here, take out this pink faction, but then we're stuck between Cornwall, Wessex, and East Engle, and uh, Gwyneth, who are arguably the four strongest factions on the entire map. Um, oh wow, Kingdom of Mercy is really struggling, this light blue faction. So probably I want to think about some up north, but again, it's not that clear. I could try to go for the Isle of Man, but I'd like to try to go for a town if I can. Maybe Ailich? Or if I can get some land in Lethland, we'll rebel and do it that way instead. 
Let's go have a look at Elitch, because Elitch only has a few... Elitch only has a few... Um, bits of land left. We need to actually have a look at their faction title. Deal Neil. O'Neill of Ehrlich. Okay, they they oper they have a few places, but they don't have that much. There's, a, there's only two vassals plus the king. So let's go have a look there, because if we could take the port of Ehrlich for ourselves, yes, we're not liked in Ireland, but we could start there at least. How much how much men would we feasibly need to? take over that place. We're going to go with Olaf Gudrudsen because we want him to um, say we can see his daughter. Right, how many people if I wanted to if I wanted to feasibly siege Ehrlich oh my god, why? <laughs> 744 troops, good grief. That's uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Hmm. Let's go see their castle. But still, I'm not convinced that that's the way forward. Uh, let's have a quick look at the book merchant. See if you have anything interesting for me. Life Alexander the Great, we will buy because I think that's a leadership book. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't need to see the ships, that's fine. Um, read book. The Life of Alexander the Great, there we go. And we'll read it whenever we have the time. I'm going to have a look at um, the O'Neill's only other castle. Although you have 594 troops, so I'm not thrilled by. How many people in Artmaka here? 331. Hmm. Not the easiest start. I think probably the plan is to um, sit up in the kingdom of Lathan and Alban. And then when we aren't given what we want, we uh, rebel. It's probably the plan. We'll have to see if that's a feasible idea or not, closer to the time. Uh, you friends, your friends. Arguably we could go after these guys here. Um, The Ulaid, U Ulad. I still butcher all these names. But they've got a lot more vassals to work with. <laughs> so that may not be feasible. It costs so much money for. It costs so much money to upgrade these troops, it's ridiculous. Okay, we'll land there. I'm actually go. I'm sorry, East Engor. I didn't mean to angry. Oh no, you're East Engor. I can go after you. That's fine. Um, I want all your stuff because we're not friends, and I could do with some more stuff. Command options. Can we make a sacrifice to the gods? We're ready for battle. Excellent. Temeral. Beautiful. As always, we'll set up on the hill. Infantry spearmen here. Archers and skirmishers on the hill. See, here's some shirtless men. <laughs> or semi-shirtless semi men, I should say. So don't worry, they're here somewhere. OK, 
Okay, you just take some javelin to the face. Wonderful. Hmm. Sometimes the tree can be quite heavily um, guarded, so we do need to be a little bit careful. I'm just going to charge you in willy nilly, as you can in some other mods. Let's go. Go, 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 go. We don't have very high quality troops with us, but we at least have more troops than them. I'm not thrilled that everyone has spears, because it means that actually being on horseback is quite unsafe. <laughs> As you can see there. Deal with you. At least do some poultry damage to the kind of outskirts of the army. Ah, oh, I've never seen. I've never got this far into the battle, but there's the there's the caravan. Because <laughs> in the other trader map, you do see it, but you don't see it in that one. Charge, gentlemen. Once more to the breach, dear friends. So lots of them around this side. Kind of doing a bit of a flanking manoeuvre, it seems. Who's left? Oh, there we go. It's all done. Wonderful. I believe this is the 20th live stream that we've done in this game now. So we've kind of hit a, a small milestone, but <laughs> I'm actually still a long way to go before this uh, stream is over. Okay, we get some decent loot. I mean, we get some butter and food, which means we don't need to buy the food, which is quite nice. It's one benefit of raiding trade. Uh, we'll go sell that at Jorvik. There we go. Uh, we'll see if there's a prison broker here. There's not, sadly. Um, but we can trade things. Let's not sell the book because we just spent 5,000 on it. It would be a shame to, to sell it for a lot less than that. Okay. Oh, let's take the vegetables back. There we go. We'll sell the sausages as well because they won't be very good otherwise. We're just going to organise our inventory somewhat. This is the quickest way to do that. Let's just put it into the traders and then take it straight back. And there we go. Now it's all the top. Um, let's head to Tompton. We've got quite a few prisons that need to be sold, so if we can't sell them anywhere else, we can sell them a chip in them. It's just a little bit of a way to get there. There's the meat hall, veteran. There's no one else here. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll head to Chippenham then, because it's we we know at least there's a a guaranteed prison broker there, because there's always one in Chippenham. I'm not entirely sure why it's hard coded that there's one there. But you can also always find Ethelmere here. Uh, our village has been raided. Eh. Well, I expected it every now and then. Ethelmere, I want to sell you all these prisoners, please. There we go. I think that was a couple of thousand. All things in together. Wonderful. Uh, we'll buy some. We'll buy some, one lot of dried meat just to give ourselves a little bit more variety. And we can also recruit from around here as well, I believe. So we might do it while we're down here. <coughs> <coughs> I know we can recruit in Cebra. We certainly used to be able to. Two Saxon freeholders. Donwara we used to be able to, but now it's under the control of Cornubia. Uh, we can't anymore, I don't think. Ham Ham, that's a good name, isn't it? 
Ham ham. Am I able to Canterbury? Do I have a? Oh hello, who are you? Two hundred forty-seven. Good grief. Uh, run away. Are you East Engle? Oh yeah, we are actually at war with these people. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> kind of forgot that was the case. Okay, your friends. We can get troops from Canterbury, which is good. Their sub are in just above, actually, they're kind of up in the north of the country. I was about to say they're in Wales, but they're not really. Okay, Chippenham, that's fine. Going with Trader, Thieves, Mies. Oh, I want to kind of. I want to see if I can help out that trade. Oh, it's okay, actually. It's fine. It's safe from those uh, ruffians there. In um somewhere around here, I think there is a lovely ruined abbey on a cliff on the cliff tops near near the sea. Um. And I want to go see. I want to go see it. I can't remember what it's. Whitby Abbey, that's the one. Uh, it's honestly gorgeous. Um, I'm quite sad to see it in ruins, but it, it makes for a very striking uh, backdrop to the sea. We'll head back to our ships. Uh, do 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 good money per week at the moment, that's good. I will stop off in a I'll stop in Rath Calter briefly. I wanna see that my ships are not getting too badly damaged. Okay, we will repair them. At a cost I don't really want to pay, but we're gonna repair them nonetheless. Because having damaged ships is not going to help any process at all. That's for sure. And we'll set sail from Rathcal to it. There we go. Make sure we don't run into any nasty Vikings so we can head on our way. Back to our village, which is looted, so we're not going to be able to get any troops from there, but we can get troops from the uh, castle nearby. Ten Norse Freeholders, that's like that's what we like to see. Troops cost a lot of money in this game, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. I'm going to head around the corner. Odysseus Live, thank you very much for the follow. I very much appreciate it. I was going to say Odysseus, but it's not. But <laughs> I'm sure I butchered your name, but um, thank you very much for following indeed. Uh, let's get ourselves... Man, this guy <laughs> trades warriors so quickly. It's the latter. Oh, so it is Odysseus. Or oh, I'm just making it even worse. <laughs> Six more freeholders. Do, do, do. And we'll head to Barbati, Dumbati. Actually, we need to v we need to visit our lady friend anyway, which I think I think she's based in Dunbrady anyway. There we go, land here. 
Uh, let's recruit one Norse freedman. Not ideal. Does this village have any jobs I can do for it? No, it doesn't. Of course, I need to be in a different tab. Alert me when you've acquired shirtless men. Gotcha. Uh, head to Dunbeatty. Oh, there's a tournament here. We'll do that. Uh, we'll visit our lady friend first. There we go. Uh, does that mean your father is here? Because then we can actually try and um, get married. Um, can I... No, I still can't date your daughter yet. We might be able to get him a, a lord from the Kingdom of Glissing, that's for sure. Can I now date your daughter? No, uh, well, we just asked him, so we need to ask him again later. Uh, Sorts of potential recruits, three Norse freeholders, and we will join this competition, as it's a good way to make money quickly. Well, I don't like the fact that you've got an axe, that scares me. Ow. Because the axe is so much quicker. And it's going to destroy that shield, but luckily we are okay. Um, we have an axe this time, wonderful. And for some reason, they either spawn really close or really far away. <laughs> Nothing in between. Let's do what we can. There we go. Uh, two teams of one fighter. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh. We just keep on hitting you, then you can't hit us. <laughs> he says as he very much dies to this person. Whew, there we go. Um. So, oh my goodness, you're right here. Now, when, when I'm fight, fighting another spearman, I tend to go two handed. I just find it easier in general. There we go. Ha! Uh, that was round four, round five now. Let's go. Uh, where are you this time? It's always a bit of a guessing game. There you are. You have a. Oh god, you have a sword. Why? Try use our range as best we can. Oh my god, that hurt. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was very close indeed. Oh my goodness. Um, right, final round. We have an axe, thank goodness. And what do you have? You have a spear, I think. So as long as we're getting close and personal, we should be okay. Death. Thank you. That should be some money. Well, not a huge amount, but some. 2798, wonderful. It does improve our relation with Dunbrady as well, so it is worth doing. Because that does mean I think we get better recruits going forward. Um, I don't think we need to go after those ruffians per se at the moment. But we will do purely for the um, kind of morale bonuses. Uh, make a sacrifice to the gods. Maybe I shouldn't fight today. That's not going to help my morale at all. Uh, right, start by targeting position. I'm sure they'll charge in for us anyway, so it's not really a problem. Uh, we'll set up on this hill over here. See that swarm of <laughs> ruffians coming in, that's okay. Infantry here, and spearmen here. Cavalry here. Archers and skirmishers hold the hill. Let's get this done. I need to go capture a Lord of the Gluissing, which is going to be tough. So I need to go get my remaining troops for that, I think. Oh, I should get started with these ruffians. They should actually do some good damage. Because they don't really have shields and they're very poorly armoured. Oh, 
But I mean, these bows, bows? bows are nothing like the ones in Pandora, which are just incredibly powerful. <laughs> Okay, we're going to charge because they're going to start running pretty much straight away. So the sooner we can get in there and attack them, the better. See, they're already running. They are not hanging about. We'll go over here because this is where the majority of them seem to be. They broke incredibly quickly, but I expected them to do so. Just carve out as many of these ruffians as possible. It also gets us experience, which is good. Come on, horsey, catch up. You're dead. And you're dead. Who's still left? About three soldiers over this way. We'll go deal with them. I'm hoping we'll be able to catch up to them in time. We should be able to. Ooh, maybe not actually. Oh no, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll catch up to at least some of them. Maybe not all of them. Let's see if we can do some horse javelining. Aha! At least one successful. I'm going to come back for you because we need to deal with this chap first if we can. But trying to javelin on a horse is pretty much impossible. Don't you dare run away. Come back here. Am my bot with the time this edge of the map? Ah. Uh. <laughs> we hit him, but not enough. Six morale. I'll take the ruffians, and I'm going to leave the loot for my men. Just gives them a little bit of extra money. Or morale, I should say. That's probably the more important thing. We'll get some more Norse bowmen, we'll get some spearmen. Uh, we'll upgrade our vet our companions into veterans. We'll get a Saxon companion out as well. We do have a few Saxon troops within the army. There we go. And we need to capture a lord from the kingdom of Glusing. Which will be easier said than done. Um we're going to need a few more troops to pull that off, I think. Nope, no shirtless men yet. <laughs> I'm sure, I mean, the, 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 I always have a few kind of in my army anyway. Okay. We're going to head via our... Uh, Lake and remain of my peace. That's fine. That's not particularly important to me at the moment. We do need to be careful running through here as we have actually annoyed them a bit. Go to Edoras, we'll pick up some more troops. Uh, companion, freeholders. We'll pick up the companions and we'll pick up the slave hunters as well. That's probably plenty of troops. I thought any more we're going to start having issues with morale. We probably will have issues with morale already. But oh, I'm, if I'm going to take down some of the lords down in this part of the world, I'm going to need a decent amount of troops to do so with. Let's Before we leave, we're just going to have a banquet in our refuge. Thousand pennies. Again, we gain 10 morale. Although we do lose a little bit of reputation for, for, you know, eating and drinking with our men as opposed to being, you know, as we should be. Okay. Oh, we're after you. I mean, you're not who I'm looking for, but we'll go after you anyway. Only 74 of you can get, take you prisoner, get some good money. We're still making profit per week, which is good. That could easily change. Surrender or die. You heap of filth. I make you wish you'd never been born. Um, I'm not going to do a duel because that went badly last time. Uh, I will send forward skirmishers. No. And what about a rousing speech? 
Good speech. Back. And we will start battle holding position. Um, oh my goodness, this is a, this is a heli map. Okay. <coughs> I imagine we'll need to charge them, so we'll just start our troops moving forward because it's going to take a long time with these hills. Maybe not, but we'll see. <laughs> we do have a good advantage, yeah, we've got pretty much double their troops, give or take. Don't die. That would that would be useful indeed. Uh are we racing to this hill? I think we're racing to this hill. Are they gonna reach it first? Oh yeah they are. Okay, back, 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 back. Everyone back. <laughs> Everyone back to another hill. I misjudged who was gonna get there first. No 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 no. Back we go. <laughs> So, infantry there, spearmen there, archers and skirmishers hold the hill, cavalry down there somewhere. Yeah, I thought we were going to get to the hill first, but... I don't know, they're staying there. <laughs> no, 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 back, back, back. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, where are they? Oh, I see them. Can our normal soldiers get involved yet? It doesn't seem like they can. Uh, what's going to be the best way to push them forward? Oh god, no, 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 no. That's a lot of... There's a lot of throwing weapons that we don't want to be on the end of. If we can help it. Uh, I'm going to let my cavalry charge in the hopes that it's going to let. I'm going to let my cavalry charge in the hopes that it will um, prompt them to attack. I don't know if that's a clever idea or not, but it's the idea we're using. Where are my spearmen? Do I not have any spearmen? I have 33 spearmen. Where are they hiding? Oh, they're up there. Why are you up there? Definitely not where I sent you to go, but sure. <laughs> we'll let our cavalry charge in. Hopefully that prompts them to attack. It may not, but one way to find out. Here's some shirtless man cucumbers. Our bowmen tend to not have shirts. Hmm. Did our plan work? I don't know if our plan worked or not. It doesn't look like it. Okay. We're going to have to think of something new here. Excuse me, gents. Thank you. We're going to have to push forward to a new hill. Let's push up to this hill here. Because then we might actually be able to see them and we can start raining down so... Oh yeah, then we can see them. This is arguably the much better... Oh, now they're charging in. Sort of. Right, infantry here, spearmen here. Archers and skirmishers up top. Do you have to be a little bit careful because like, this, this is a proper lord. Like, he could actually hurt quite a lot. I'm going to get off my horse because I don't think actually being on my horse is the most useful thing I can be doing here. Here we go, we're at least engaging in some skirmishing now, which is good. We have a lot of slave hunters who are very average troops, but it's okay. Let's move the infantry and the spearmen down a little bit. Just a little bit closer to the action, and that way the archers have a bit of room to work with. I'm hoping at least this is going to allow for some war trophies or battle trophies. Or maybe a prisoner or two would be nice. Uh, 
Once they lose a troop, they should come in, which I'd much prefer. They just lost one now, so I don't know if they're going to charge or not. Hmm. Inventory forward, 10 stasis, same with our spearmen. Let's see if we can prompt them into an attack. This is definitely a bit of a skirmish. But, okay, I think they're coming in now. We'll leave our archers up on the hill. They'll probably do best work up there. Okay, we're finally engaging now, which is good. Infantry charge and spearman charge as well. Let's go. This could be by no means an easy fight. It's taken a while to get started, but at least we're there now. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to let archers charge now as well, because they might need to get involved with this archer line. I'll probably try to start disrupting this line as best I can. There's a lot of them, and they do have range on their side. And they're going to start running, because they're annoying. So we'll use our own throwing weapons to try to deal with some of them. Okay, let's dealt with some of them at least. Come here. There we go. Okay, I think they're starting to run now. Here they are. <laughs> yes, cucumbers. <laughs> okay, they are starting to run now. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch... We're not going to be able to catch up to these guys, I don't think. You? What are you doing? I can't tell if you're running or you're staying, but I'm gonna go after you. Because you look, you're not, you're not actually routing yet, are you? We actually need to deal with you. There's a horse there. We might be able to try to catch him, but let's at least go deal with this chap here first. Because he's someone we might actually be able to take on. We got some throwing weapons. Look at you. Kill it all. Hey, synth. How you doing today? Thank you for dropping by, as always. There we go. Oh, that was the king. Or the... That was their... <laughs> that was the lord, and he was hiding back here like a coward. How about that? And, of course, he gets to escape, despite the fact I just knocked him out with... Uh... Never mind. Good game, ready to sleep? Fair enough, it's, it's quite late. <laughs> I don't know exactly what time of day it is because uh, my phone's on charge, but it's it's. I, I know I started this stream at half past three in the morning, so I don't know what time it is now, but it's definitely early in the morning. <laughs> uh, we also have a loot. We get a war trophy. Do we get any battle trophies as well? No battle trophies. That's sad. I mean. I should be able to work it out by how long I've been streaming, but then I need to exit the game or tab out the game, and that just makes it look pretty naff. Okay, well, we get a war trophy. It's not bad. Go sell that at Care Magrade. It's 11.30 for you. Hmm. Oh, it's a rins uh, broker? Ransom broker. Wonderful. Watch ruin, happy widow. I will raise the morale of my men. Sometimes the morale can be a little bit of an issue, as we know. We'll sell all the kind of basic gear first for a few a few pennies, nothing major, but still something. And then we'll also redeem our battle trophy, and I think that gets us a thousand. Yes, it does. Wonderful. And we'll keep heading down to see if we can get some more people to attack. Ooh, 233. Your part of the faction we actually need to take on. Do we think we could take you on? That's a big old fight. Given that you're running from us, I'm going to say we probably can. But I'm still not convinced. But we'll give it a go. I 
I think because quite a lot of your troops are quite low level. I'd be okay to try to take you on. When well, some of our troops are not exactly high level, but we'll give it a go. We would be actively fighting more troops. This might be a terrible idea. Is he going to get inside? He's not. It's interesting. Actually, that's not his, that's not his castle. <laughs> oh wow, you really don't like me. Why don't you like me? You actively, you're like my nemesis. Why is that? Well, time for you to die. <laughs> uh, commander options. We're going to need. There's no commander options we can do. We'll start battle holding position. This could be interesting. We're at actively at a disadvantage here. Use this hill as best we can. We need any, every bit of advantage we've got. I'm hoping they'll charge us because we're going to blooming well need it. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> but at least we're fighting our nemesis, even though I didn't realise he is our nemesis. Okay, let's set up as best we can. If he if we need to charge him, I'll be annoyed. But hopefully hopefully he'll come over to us. And as always, our spearmen are doing whatever they wish, but that's okay. I think they are coming in to attack us, which is much better. We stand a much better chance if they, because they'll be a bit more strung out that way. We stand a much, much better chance. And we have a shield bash going, which is cool. Who? Who? Oh, you stopped. <laughs> as soon as I started joining the shield bash, they were like, no, let's stop doing that. Okay, our archer's going to start on their skirmishers, which is good. Plenty of naked, naked uh, shirtless men running in here. Oh, <laughs> this is... One of the biggest fights we've done so far in this campaign. This will be interesting. Did you just cough? <laughs> what if the soldier just coughed? How about that? I suppose you, you know, if you need to cough in a battle, that's fine. I just didn't know. If they, I didn't realise they. It was an implemented sound in this game. It's quite remarkable. I'm actually going to be on foot, I think, for this. Okay, we've started to get some of them down. So they'll probably start attacking soon. I'm not going to throw my weapons till they're that little bit closer, I think. I thought we could do an this thing, as opposed to throwing weapons. They're coming in now. We're gonna pretty much we're just waiting. I'm gonna wait for them to get a little. I'd, I'd rather focus on the heavily armored shield guys at the back, to be honest, rather than kind of these low level skirmishers. I don't know who, who you are, but let's try to deal with you. Just doing as much skirmishing as possible because we've already cleared out what. 21 of them, 20 of them. But here they come. We could do if we if we try to deal with those ban those um people carrying the banners, that'd be excellent. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be a big old fight. Infantry charge, spearmen the same, let's go. No, oh, don't uh fight well. Charge, there we go. These um, archers are going to prove troublesome, I think. You're dealt with. 
you're dealt with. You're dealt with. I need to deal with some of these guys, otherwise they're gonna keep on causing issues. The more I can just deal with some of these guys at least. I think we are winning this though, which is good. Because they just keep on running backwards. Yeah, okay, we dealt with the majority of them, we can go help with the melee now. But they they have lost their leader, so we are doing better now. Obviously if I if I fall then we lose the leader, so it's it's not good. It's about finding the right balance between the two. I think these guys are a Scottish faction naturally. Oh, there's more troops coming in. Gotcha. Okay, let's uh, let's not be too bold. Everyone, everyone, pull back. Let's, if we're going to have to fight reinforcements, let's fight them as a co coherent unit if we can, because they're going to outnumber us quite heavily. Let's at least hold here. Then we can charge in with our Norse archers as backup. We were pushing too far ahead there by ourselves with our melee troops, although we, we don't have a huge amount of archers with us. Pretty soon we should get some more reinforcements, which would be good. But we definitely we definitely killed a lot more of them than they've killed of us, that's for sure. Okay, everyone follow me. We're going to go and charge because they've got more archers. It's not going to benefit us to wait. Everyone go. It's not going to benefit us to wait because they're quite low level troops, but they do have range. The best thing we can do is actually just attack them. Although I might let my archers not push in too much by themselves because they're still the kind of lower level troops. Now they can charge. Hmm. Oh, now we're knocked. <laughs> we're knocked out. So now we have no input on whether things will go well or not. We just have to kind of see how things will go. We just have to <laughs> hope. And hope is a dangerous thing at times. I'm hoping we'll get some more... Ah, oh, we do. Wonderful. We've got our reinforcement waves coming in. This is a big old skirmish, this one. Hmm. Will we win this? Yes. Will we take casualties? Also yes. <laughs> Although these guys are mostly archers now, so we should be okay. Although our troops are doing weird things. Because <laughs> really, really the best thing they can do is just break, break formation here and charge us as quickly as possible. They are getting there, which is good. Ah, oh, we're getting there. Good. <laughs> I think we've actually won. There we go, we've won now. 17 renown, 17 renown, 11 morale. We get taken prisoner. He is our active... Um, <laughs> He's our active nemesis. But we've done the job now, so we need to go back and get him to Olaf Gudrunsson before he escapes. And then hopefully we can and hopefully we can finally marry his daughter. Share the loot, we get a war trophy. I'd hope we get some battle trophies as well. We do indeed. No epic trophies, but they may yet turn up.
and will of course take all other loot as well even if it's kind of crappy loot it's still worth taking to sell for whatever money we can get for it there we go and I'm gonna actually sell this in a different location I think we'll go to Yorick and at least sell the terrible stuff there and then we'll trade in the I'd like to trade in the kind of trophies in a other location, but the location I'm thinking of we actively can't get into at the moment, so there's no real point waiting around for that. So that's fine, we'll just sell them here. Battle trophy, battle trophy, battle trophy, and a war trophy, wonderful. Okay, just wanted to check how long we've been going for. Because I am due at work in like three hours, so I should <laughs> make sure I don't miss my <laughs> deadline to get to work. Uh, so that shield as well. And we'll pick up some more food, just this bread. We're not going to actually, we'll put the beef back because that's just going to go rotten pretty soon. That's not worth holding on to. I'm going to go find Olaf Gudrunson somewhere. I'm hoping it could be by like Barbati, Dunbati, but it's, there's very much a chance that they won't be. We need to go visit our lady friend, that's fine. Let's not deal with you because you're not really a friend. Kings of Alba, 91. Okay. Should be cautious going through these lands because although we're not actively at war with them, I did actually I did accidentally upset them. <laughs> okay, I think we should be safe now. Okay, head over to Dunbati, Balbati, we can recruit some more troops, but also we can try handing this prisoner to the relevant person. There he is, Earth Goodwoodson. Hello. Of other tasks you have for me, I have a lord from the Kund of Glissing for you. Gives me 2,000 pennies. Wonderful. You now have 42 relations with me. I would ask you to marry your daughter. What? Young girls may be led astray, so out of a sense of duty to the ladies of my household, I'd like to get you to know you a bit better. You're so we have 42 relations with you. Sure. Is there anything else I can do to help? My word. Oh, and he's the marshal, so we'll go say hello to him, because that gives us another <laughs> that gives us another five um, positive relation with him. Is now is this now enough? I don't know. We just asked him, so we can't ask him just yet. Uh, but we will recruit as many people as we can from here, and we will visit our lady friend just to keep her um, relation moving upwards. I'll also head to Balbati because that's where our, we can get some more recruits. 16 Norse Freedmen, wonderful. Do we need to capture a slave for you or something? No. If we can capture a slave, that's always a good way to get some more recruits quickly. Uh, what, are you, what, what are we actually planning to do, Mr. Marshall? Follow the army till further notice, well that's not going to happen. We will accompany you, but I don't think we're actually going to end up see you anything useful no I don't think anything's gonna happen oh, yeah there's the quest completed so let's go to our ships oh there's a this competition here in Dunbeatty so we'll speak to the king while we're here um, do you have any other tasks for me? You need Brunhild, that's fine. I'm happy to give you Brunhild in, in an effort to make the king like you a bit more. And we will indeed do this competition. As it, again, is a good way to make money, but also gives us a positive relation with Dunbeatty, which means we can recruit from there a lot easier going forward. Uh, there we go. Two teams of one fighter. Oh my goodness, you're right here. But at least we have an axe. 
There we go. Chop down a tree. Two teams and one fighter. Um, let's get going. Where are you? You're right here. There we go. Wonderful. If you could just keep giving me axes throughout all the rest of these rounds, that would be wonderful. Something tells me, however, it's not going to happen. Oh, a sword. I don't mind a sword. Just preferably not a spear. <laughs> well, the spears are better in this mod compared to the base game, that's for sure. Ow. Well, hey, one more, one more round. One more round. Please give me an axe or sword. Nope. <laughs> and you have a sword, which is annoying. I'm stuck on the tree. There we go. Tournament one. Hallelujah. Um, not that much money, but. It also means that they're very supportive of us, which is good. S some more recruits. And we need to sell these prisoners somewhere. So let's go, let's get on our... We're going to recruit while we're passing by. We're still making good money per week. Bad weather has damaged our ships, however, which is not ideal. Uh, Orkney, six North Freedmen. See you around, cucumbers. Have a good one. I probably won't be going much longer anyway, so don't worry. And of course, it will be up on YouTube if you want to watch it there. But good night. Thank you very much for stopping by. Let's get on our ships. Ah, uh, we don't have room for eight of our men. Uh, let's get rid of eight of you then. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Ah, Ken, hello. <laughs> How are you today? Okay, um, we will we need to sell our prisoners somewhere, so let's head down to kind of Bebenburg, Monday Bamborough, or Yorvik, Monday York, and try to sell our prisoners there. Oh, you're walking with me, that's fine, you're not an active enemy. Uh, oh my goodness. Um, you actually haven't missed that much. <laughs> I can't tell you that you've missed that much. Um, I've just been kind of recruiting. I did I did do a big battle again. I think one of the biggest battles of this campaign so far. But apart from that, nothing major. Um, I'm still trying to decide where I want to set up shop eventually. Um, kind of in terms of my kingdom. But I still don't think we're quite ready just yet. Pretending skirmisher, happy widow, no prison broker, no prison broker. Uh, bu, 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 bu. I'll try to sell them at Jorvik. Because either way, I need to drop off some troops and I'm going to do a, a trade run over to kind of Norway, Denmark, Frisia. Ooh, I'll happily take two berserkers. Not being bard or captain. Still no luck there. Um, let's try Tomton. Because I do have 50 prisoners, I'd like to sell them if I can. Because that'll be a good amount of money. The problems of morale of your army have moved on your warriors to propose himself. Can I replace you? I really hope I don't lose this, because otherwise I've lost a lot of the time in terms of saves. <laughs> I will be dropping off. The, I'll <laughs> after this. I'm going to drop off, drop off the majority of my troops in in my refuge, because when we have such a large amount of troops, we just don't have enough. Um, we just don't have the morale to, to keep up with it, really. What's going on here? North Henry versus East Engel. Let's get out of there. You are not friends. But let's head to Tomton. We're pretty much there already. Hopefully we can find a prison broker here. No. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to run back to Adaras then. <laughs> We need to drop off these prison, drop off these troops. Um, otherwise, we're gonna have issues. We'll visit the lady when we can. 
pretty much a lot of this time we've just been trying to get our lady friend <laughs> um, to kind of come with us. Let's have a feast to hopefully deal with morale a bit more. Uh, it does knacker our morale a bit, but I think we do need the, the morale boost. Um, and we'll probably also speak to our happy widow. Hello here, Gula. Thank you, 50 morale. Um, and I'm going to drop off the majority of these troops, I think. I'll keep the berserkers on me, because there's no point getting them upgraded. But I'll drop off probably these freedmen, this bowmen, the... Oh, I'll take the bowmen back, actually. I'll drop off these freeholders. Some elite spearmen. I probably should have gone for a banner bearer, but that's okay. Companion. Norse veteran. I'm going to drop off you guys as well. And there we go. Maybe 111. That should be a little bit more stable. There we go. I would like to sell these prisoners somewhere. Uh, we'll find somewhere to sell them. But we're going to head on to our ships. And head over to... Uh, initially, we'll head to Frisia. Actually, what I'm going to do quickly, I'm just going to tell my trainer to stop training troops because it's costing us quite a bit of money. It's great, but it's 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 expensive. <laughs> so we'll head into Adras. We need to walk around when it's uh, daytime. Attempt to stop training because it's like three thousand a pop, <laughs> which is great. But expensive. Bum 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 Hello Carold. Um I need to discuss training options, please stop training my men. Thank you. That means at least for the time being we can actually save up a bit of money. I'm just dropping troops in there so we can use them when we're ready. And eventually those troops will go into our own um, our own camp when it, or our own kingdoms um, places when it comes time. But for now we'll head to Frisia doing good old trade run. And we'll also see if we can get the king of Norway to like us a bit more. So we'll pick up wine and salt. Kingdom of Alban and Cornubia have made peace, that's fine. And also, if we don't have like, this many troops in our actual party, it does mean we earn a lot more money, which is very nice indeed. Okay, Dorstad. And we can actually get some recruits here, so I will do so. Uh, first of all, I'm going to pick up some food, whatever food is available. And then leave and then come back. Ooh, does the jewelry sell? Let me just let me see if the jewelry sells here for a good profit. Consider a screen for three ninety. That's a big investment for not that much reward. One eight one eight three seven for wine. And then I'm also going to buy the salt, which I can make an okay profit on. It's not a perfect profit, but it's an okay profit. Then we head to Reeb in Denmark. Oh yeah, I forgot they, they, they drink all the wine, so I need to just sell this in Denmark quickly. Let's head into Reeb itself, there we go. Um... And both the wine and salt sales pretty handsomely here. So already that's a good, that's a good profit. Um, horse merchant, there we go. And you can also take the salt. Wonderful. I don't think there's any mass good trades out of Reeb. Obviously, I'm going to get the tar from. I'm going to get the tar from Norway. That's my next job, really. 
Okie dokie, self import. Uh, Cornubia and West Six are at war. That's going to be a big war, my word. So that's this dark blue faction versus the orange faction. That's going to cause some issues. Well, the Wessex are really kind of struggling quite a lot at the moment in this campaign, which is not normally how it works. Normally, Wessex are an absolute powerhouse. But I guess because they're such a powerhouse, people have decided they're too strong to be left to their own devices, as it were. Okay, heading to Tunsburg. There we go. Trade with the locals. I want all your tar. My good sir, thank you. We're also going to buy some more food as well, not the pork because that's going to go off. While we're here, is the king around? Hello, where's the king? Should be close to Rogaland at the moment. Oh, and here's the Norse Chronicler, which we got, which we did last time, where he wants us basically just to depose his king. Um, no prison broker here, sadly. Where is Rogaland? Or Rogaland? There it is. Is that the king? No. Ooh, 25, 24 young warriors. I wouldn't mind actually going after these guys. For the young warriors, I'll put them inside our refuge and we can use them for a better time. Right, commander options, let's make a set for our skirmishes. Nope. Make a sacrifice to the gods. We are ready for battle. Wonderful. Temporal, very useful. And we'll push up to this hill here, I think. It's probably ideal. And there they are. But yeah, well probably the quickest way for us to get troops quickly is actually just by doing these fights and then taking these <laughs> taking these prisoners I mean the young warriors aren't excellent troops but they'll they'll do a job they'll hold or they can hold a wall um, in a in an actual siege that's one of many other troops Let's see if we can do some good damage here I mean these guys are uh, we should be okay to deal with Infantry here, spearmen as well. We're probably setting up a little bit unnecessarily for what's just a kind of ruffian battle. But some of these guys do have shields, so we need to be a little bit careful. Uh, I probably shouldn't sit here because my horse is dying. There we go. Okay, uh, everyone charge because otherwise I'm going to die. <laughs> and then I lose renown. That's not useful at all. Ow. Oh, hello. Do with you. Oh, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I think Bader might have just been knocked unconscious on that horse. Deal with carve through as many of you as we can. There we go. Who's still left? We can grab on. Oh, we can't actually get on the horse. We don't have enough skill. We'll, we'll, next thing, next time we have some skill points, we'll invest in some more riding skill, I think. Hello, Berserker. Oh, decapitation. There's the head. Well, that's gruesome, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, 17 morale, it's very useful. Um, oh, we do not have space for many prisoners. Let's go to the bandits, the farmers, the sailors, the tinker, the tailor, the soldier, the sailor. And pick up kind of the slightly stronger prisoners. And we also take these 24 young warriors. As we can, again, just chuck them in somewhere. And we will take all this to sell. Tunsburg. Arguably, I could try set up my own kingdom somewhere in Norway or Denmark or Frisia, but I don't know if that's the, tactically the best decision. I could try set up here, for example. Let's. 
but I don't know if that's going to be a possibility. You are not who I went to speak to. That's fine. Where's the actual king? Conigl. Conigl. I can't say that name. Do you trust me? You have a highwayman job. Interesting. This is one we struggled with last time. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be somewhere around here. Oh, it is here. Wonderful. Let's make sure we have our actual useful troops here with us. Like our berserker, who we've definitely lost one of them. If it's always there, that's good. Now I know it's there. Norse veterans, veteran slave fun. Uh, that's fine. Bodo, Clovis, Morgan, Agathin also I don't want here. Don Chad I wouldn't mind having. Let's give it a go, because then we might finally be able to set up a business here in Norway. Which would be wonderful. But however, before I do that, I'm going to sell the loot we picked up from that battle at Tunsberg, because I want to be able to pick up the, some more loot from this quest here. Uh, trade with the locals. And we will want to pick up more tar when they've refilled their stocks. Because tar sells for a very handsome price back on the mainland. Oh wow, look how much money they have. Good grief. That's a lot of money. Okay, and then we'll go deal with this veteran's camp. Or veteran renegade's camp, I should say. Attack the hideout. Let's give this a go. We've got the Berserker, we've got Bodo, Morgant, Don Chad, and a couple of. We've got Clovis as well. I mean, I don't know if actually having a Berserker is a good idea because they're. <laughs> Also, they, they hit very hard, but they, they, they do struggle to stay alive. But I guess then they can send their... Go on their way to Valhalla. Oh, <laughs> the Berserker's... There I am, speaking about the Berserker, and he's already dead. Uh, this is actually going very well, I've noticed. I have to pull something out of the bag here to stand a chance. Okay, maybe next time I don't bring the Berserker with me. Bugger it. <laughs> okay, that's a failed quest. We'll have to get a new one from him another time. Maybe the, um... <laughs> Maybe the um, Berserkers are not the right people to have. Do you have any other tasks for me? No. <laughs> well, eventually we'll be able to do something good here. No more... Okay. Uh, we'll head to Odin's... Did we do Odin's Cave before? I think we did. I think we might have done Odin's Cave last stream. We'll just have to double check. If anything else, I'll swap by Odin's Hoff anyway. Because I can recruit a, a Berserker or two. The Berserkers don't want to join me. Fine. Given how easily that Berserker died, maybe it's not the best idea anyway. I think we've dealt with Odin's Cave, but we will just double check. And hopefully that will also give time for the Tar to uh, respawn in the market. Are you the king? No, you're, you're just a vassal. Have some prisoners for ransom. <laughs> I forgot that you can sell prisoners to, to lords. Um, let's... Okay, we're getting some good money. It's a shame we didn't manage to do that quest successfully, but, you know, what can we do? Okay, one second, I'll be right back on the game. There we go. Just want to see how long I've been going for. Okay, I'll go for another 25 minutes or so. You probably, there's probably a couple of bits of flashing on the screen, I do apologise for that. 
Uh, do you have more tar? Oh, you have more tar for me. Excellent. <laughs> Just buy all the tar possible. And also buy the fish and the meat while I'm here. And then we can go to Dorstad and get some more wine, some more salt. It's a very profitable trade one in general. Actually, uh, wool sells for a lot of Dorstad. I know we don't have any here, but if I can find where they sell wool cheaply, that would be great. I don't think we need to stop with Denmark. That's fine. We'll just head straight to Frisia. There we go. Although, if we find any Vikings on the open seas, we might give them a go. We do need to sell these prisoners somewhere. Into Frisia we go, the Netherlands. Um, we can also get some more recruits here, which is nice. Where's the meat hall? I really hope there's a prison broker. There's a happy widow and an Aquitanian skirmisher. This is a nice little pub. Mmm, bread. And honey. There's a nice little stock from back here. Um, trade with the locals. We can sell quite a bit of the tar here for a decent price. We probably won't sell all of it here because we do have a lot. We don't want to drive the price down too much. And we'll buy all the wine and the salt. And the salt doesn't sell for that much, but there is still a bit of profit. There we go. And we can sell from port. We'll head back to Jorvik area. And sell what we can there. And we'll, again, we'll just drop off all these kind of excess troops that we're carrying. Uh, there we go. Ah, oh, Middlesbrough, wonderful. Uh, heading to Bevenberg, we'll do some trading there. Because the wine here sells for a great deal, wonderful. More than actually this trader can afford. That's fine. Um, so some more wine here. We can also sell the salt. The salt doesn't sell for a huge amount, as I said, but it sells for enough to make it just a fireball, just about. There we go. And we can sell some of this tar as well. To the weaponsmith, the armorer. Armorer still has some money, wonderful. It's a very, it's a very worthwhile trade route to do. Um, okay, we'll leave. Oh. Does Bebenberg have a prison broker? That's the only thing I want to double check while I'm here. Uh, you do. We do. Wonderful. There you go. Some more money. We'll head to Jorvik. Sell the rest of our ill gotten gains there. I'm going to. I want to accompany that trader, by the way. Because I want to try and make amends with that faction because I accidentally attacked them thinking they were another faction. Which was a bit stupid of me. Um, but if we could make peace with them, that'd be good. Oh, nearly 30,000 pennies. I'm going to accompany this trader. I want to see if someone attacks him. I doubt he will, though. But if someone does attack him. No, I've changed my mind. There's someone there I want to attack first. There's <laughs> a lord I want to attack. I don't know if we're going to catch up to him. He's going to be in Gainsborough here, I imagine. There we go. Okay, 642 versus 20. I think we might be okay. This is a really nice uh, early morning mist or sunset. We can just charge. That's not a problem. There's only 20 of them. Yeah, this, that's a nice old view with that sun rather <laughs> bright in the horizon, but that's okay. 
Let's make sure let's make sure our troop isn't let's make sure our cavalry isn't the first in to attack. But with six hundred and forty two versus twenty we should be okay. Let's go. Hi there. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Saviour um Odin? And Thor and Flay. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> Good grief. That's fine. We'll, we'll still win the overall engagement. We must have just absolutely eaten that um, javelin right in the right in the head. I'd imagine. I think that's, is that us there? No. Yeah, we must have absolutely just eaten that javelin. Uh, for a second I thought that was an actual bear, but I realised it's just his kind of costume. Okay, well, we always knew this was going to be a win. Um, but we'll be okay. Probably have lost a few more troops than we intended, but that's alright. We defeated the enemy, there we go. We've helped out this chap here. He manages to escape, unsurprisingly, with 600 troops. Let's upgrade whoever we can. Share the loot. We do get a battle trophy and a war trophy, so that was worth doing purely purely for that. Um, I'm going to head back up to our refuge. Yes, and Denmark have made peace. That's fine. Um, we'll have to make peace with Albin some other way. What prisoners did you have? You had young warriors. Come here. Oh no, I don't want to hire ruffians. Absolutely not. I don't mind hiring kind of Vikings, but ruffians I don't think is really worth hiring to be honest. We will just charge, I think. Again, we're just hiring these young warriors so we can keep them in our refuge for the time you're independent and then we can charge in there. No, sorry, we can we can have at least some troops in our <laughs> castle ready to go when we because because you have to manually recruit it's a real pain I still haven't found out if there's a proper if there's a way you can automatically recruit but if it's only manual recruiting so I'm trying to get as many recruits kind of like done beforehand I suppose ow 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 <laughs> I probably shouldn't have run through all these ruffians that's fine we'll be okay I just <laughs> I was trying to think about what I was saying and then I kind of wasn't paying attention and ran straight through all the slings and spears and farming hooks. Hmm. They're running pretty quickly already, which is good, but we'll wait for a few more of them to be routing, and then we should get the win. Is that it? No, it wasn't quite enough. Oh no, it was enough, good. 16 ruffians, we'll take prisoner, and we'll take 24 young warriors to uh, bolster our shield wall, but also bolster our shield wall when we're defending in a siege because that way as soon as I take my initial castle I can put hopefully put 250 troops straight away inside and that way I have just enough troops to hopefully survive any retaliation so we'll go drop them off in Edoras 
I'm still making good profits actually. Um, I'm just a garrison. Let's put these young warriors inside. We can put the slave. Do we want to put the slave hunters? We'll put the slave hunters inside. Because then we can just start recruiting more and more troops. And this will be our standing garrison when we eventually move in. Uh, I want to manage the garrison. No, I want to speak to the captain. I want to see if there's anything else I can do with this place. Is there anything else I should know? Oh, I don't think I can land my ships because we're too far away from the shore. That's fine. I don't think that's a real, there's a real need for that at the moment. Cool. Um, let's head back upwards towards our villages. It looks like Alban have retaken some of this land. Uh, but they're a pretty strong faction. Mias and Alban have gone to war. Interesting. But we'll, we'll do some recruiting. Uh, we've left our ships back down by Bevenberg. That's fine, we can go get them when we need to. We can at least recruit a Dunbeti Balbeti for the time being. We remain in East Engle at war. I'd quite like to go to war against um, Alban. But we have to wait for our king to decide that. There we go. I don't think the lord is here. Olaf is... Astrid's father, but that's okay. No, sorry, Asgard. I've not been calling you Astrid this entire time. I do apologise, madam. Uh, Balbeti. Ooh, there's some robbers here. We can deal with them. That gives us more reputation with this village. I'm more than happy to do that. We'll get off our horses. I find villages are not great horse fighting areas, to be honest. After as many of these soldiers as we can. Okay. Chop off your head, chop off everyone's head as best we can. Who's still left? There we go. Wonderful. Just take me to leave. I'm going to refuse because that just means we get even more relation with Barbati. That means we get 40 Norse freedmen. Wonderful. Do you have any other tasks I can help you with? You want a slave? More than happy, sir. That gives us another 17 Norse freedmen straight away. Definitely worth doing. I'm going to the hideout here. That'd be very lonesome just being in a fire by yourself here. Hello, slave. I'm going to bring you back to your master. Follow me. Thank you, sir. I'll go back to Balbati and I can get some more troops straight away. Wonderful. And actually, getting relation up with this village here is not a bad thing. Um, because that would get me closer. It means I can recruit a lot of troops from the mainland, as opposed to having to go on my ships, uh, which is sometimes a little bit frustrating. And so the more quests we can do from here, the better. Oh, it's just turned winter, so everything will now be very, very snowy indeed. Which begs the question, why are we in nothing but shorts and shoes when it's clearly absolutely freezing outside? Look at my excellent beard. Ha oh, ha, yes. Everything's gone very snowy indeed, at least up in Scotland. <laughs> okay, two soldiers. 
two soldiers I can sort of manage. When it gets to three soldiers, that's when it becomes a bit of a problem. Ow. Okay, clearly I can't manage two soldiers. <laughs> But it's still a good investment of time to get Balbeti on side. Where is he? He's up there. I don't know why they always spawn up like like they just kind of run from the <laughs> next by village. I don't know why they don't spawn actually in the village itself. There we go. Most of them only require two hits, sometimes three. But when there's two or three of you, they kind of overwhelm you slightly. And at least our village has gone from very poor to poor, so that's starting to recover after it got raided. But it's probably going to get raided again. Ow. Hmm. <laughs> okay, me and... I clearly can't take on two villagers at the moment then. I'm trying to work out where this place is kind of actually in, in, in one in the one day. Three if I can't take on two villagers, what makes you think I can take on three villagers? Is there a bridge somewhere we can use? Try to draw them out. If I can draw them out slightly, that might be my best option. So I fired them either one one or two at the same time. I can use this as my best chance really. Okay, that didn't go well. Give up the fight. <laughs> Stop just give me lots of soldiers by themselves and I'll deal with them that way instead. Peasants I should say. Uh Air Literally Stengra at war. Okay, we might be able to deal with two people. Let's speed this up by running to them, although it does mean that they've got the hill advantage. You can't block the two different directions at the same time, that's my issue. Just give me one peasant to deal with at a time, <laughs> and I'll manage to get it done. But clearly I can't deal with like multiple peasants without a shield. Hmm. Some strong back muscles. Okay, let's go. Okay, I've killed one of them. If I can just kill the second one. Whew, okay, progress. And train the business again. Good one. Just okay. One sort. One percent. I can do. That's fine. Cease and desist, good sir. Cease and desist. There we go, dealt with you. And here we go, finally. <laughs> After quite a bit of time, we can finally deal with this and help this village out. Uh, we can just charge as before. And again, we will get off our horse, but we'll just get a bit closer to the action first. There we go, dismount. These guys don't even have shields, these are just like basic ruffian looters. Oh, they're kind of falling off the bridge. It's raining men. Just about half past ten. I haven't listened to that song in a long time. Gentlemen, this isn't working. Go away. 
Who's still left? There we go. <laughs> Absolutely whiskers. Okay. We get some more freeholders. Wonderful. Getting a little good amount of troops now. And you don't need anything else for the time being, but I somewhat expected that. There we go. Up back up to 165 troops. And I think with that, we will leave it there for today. Uh, more Viking Conquest to come very, very soon indeed, but um, next will be some more Civ 6, playing as Wilfred Laurier of Canada. Then Warband, then Civ 6, then Warband, and eventually once Civ 6 finishes, we should just about be ready to start Hogwarts Legacy. And I'm looking forward to that. But thank you so much for joining, and hopefully we will make some more progress to, with our Kingdom preparations very, very soon indeed. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.